I did the. <laughs> so hi folks, I've done a quick update on the uh, forge and uh, created some accidental art. I'll show you that in a sec. And tried some stuff out, made some conclusions, thinking about other ways to fuel it uh, with a gas bottle. I've used about half a yeah about half a bottle of gas, and that's not cheap. It's about 20, 24 francs. I think it, it is for a bottle. Something like that, 20 francs, 24 francs. So it wouldn't work out particularly cheap to run it like that. So I'm thinking about well, waste oil and charcoal for starters, but I I did it on its side and I did it stood up for smelting some aluminium. And uh, I'll show you how I got this accidental art. And that's what you call accidental art. I just did a little, melted some aluminium, did a little pour and Seem to have made a mushroom, and where the mushroom grows on rotten logs, found a rotten log in the wood pile, and stuck it on there. It's just got an old drilled in bottom and an old drilled in log and a nail in it. I've done nothing to it. Like I've just, I've just actually put it together. This and just amused me. <laughs> An hundred percent original piece of art to be sold on eBay, starting at a million dollars. So get your bids in quick. What I will do with a piece of wood, though, I think, is soak it in uh, fifty-fifty. PVC white glue, you know, wood glue, 50-50 water, soak it in there, which will uh, stabilise wood and stop any critters. So, what I've done is I've made myself a crucible. This is a makeshift crucible. <laughs> it just happened that, uh, uh, well it's a tomato can, actually fits perfect in there and I've just made myself a makeshift. To pull it out, I will be wearing very thick gloves. Maybe even dampened down gloves for that. But that's my basic crucible. I'll be looking for something more sturdy. That might just burn bottom out of it because, well, it's going to get very hot in there. <laughs> that's the door. I've popped it out. It's not cured, so I won't be using that today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to eat this up again to soften it. Um, because I'm not happy with the edge I've got on it so I'm going to soften it and file it more flat because what I actually did I originally worked at it with this and my edge is not it's not bad but uh, I think I can do better and that's what it's all about a bit of practice I think but what I'm going to also do is try and get some aluminium I've got lots of scrap aluminium and melt it down. I was going to try and do a, a, a lost foam mould but unfortunately the sand I've got is not suitable and it's wet so I won't be trying that today but I'll be trying to still smelt some down and make a little ingot and see how we go. So I just started it up put the knife in. It's not burning perfectly well because my pipe's a little bit too big I think but I can change that out that's not a problem.
got it running about 10 minutes. I don't believe you can see that. We've got some liquid aluminium in the bottom of there. And there we have it. Once it starts, it gets going. I think it's really important how you pack your aluminium in to your crucible. I put some probably too big a bits in and it was slow getting getting going to make a pull. But now I'm going to pour this. I can't show you that because we're working one handed. But I'm just going to pour it into this little bit of sand with an oil in it and fill that up, make an ingot. A bit funny shape, and I'll show you that after. Now, as I said before, the sand what I've got here is quite wet, so you can't do a, a, a mould as such, and it's, it's not really, well, it's not fine at all, so. But this will do just to make an ingot. And I'll get back to you with that. And that's it poured. Just have to wait a bit and pull it out and see what we've got. But I'm pleased how it works. I say alternative fuel source would be better. Look, I even got a bit of scorching on plastic there, so that needs a sorting out. But I can always make a bit more cement and put a different sort of pipe in it. But lost oil, uh, waste oil, lost oil, waste oil. I think would be great to use on it. Uh, and also charcoal, if I could stand it up like that and say force air into the bottom, charcoal in it and something on top here to make a better a better forge system, a better yeah, higher, wider, whatever you want. So this should be hard enough now just to, to pour out. So I've got my gloves on, that's extremely hot sand. I'm just gonna put the sieve. Oh, it popped out all on its own. A little aluminium mushroom. There you go. Come out quite pure that actually. Mind you, I don't think tin cans are very good for this. But I'm going to have to cool that down it's in a bucket just so I can look at it. <laughs> quite pleased with that. It's actually does very much look like a mushroom. I'll probably keep that. I'm just going to stick it in here. See if oh, yes. That's warm. Don't forget to comment, like, share, ask questions and suggestions are always welcome. Cheers for looking.